Good day. My name is Daisy. I'm going to present the five-letter CNC training to you. Our company is Renline Information, which was established in 1987. We are in software design industry, and we have 24 employees now. We focus on CNC integrated application solution. Our vision is to become a world-class supplier for CNC integrated application solution. And our mission is to provide a safe, economical, and creative method to train learners in machining factories, schools, and career institutions. Here is our organization chart. We have five departments, which are R and D, customer service, marketing, finance, and HR. And we are international sales team, which is under marketing department. Currently, we have many customers in Taiwan, such as Honda Industry. China Airlines and Fengjian University, and we also extend our footprint to the world, such as China and Malaysia, Russia and Netherlands, South Africa and Middle East. Our major product is training solution and facility, and we focus on education institution, CNC factories, and machinery industry. We provide services in terms of training, assistance, technical support, and consulting. Let me share some backgrounds with you. As you can see, machinery industry is between the raw material and the consumer goods. That's why we call machinery is the mother of industry. You may also realize automatic digital control is in the trend in machining business. From this pyramid, we can see machining supplier is in the basic part of the industry structure. And this flowchart is showing you the three stages in the value chain. Pre-machining, machining, and post-machining. The labor demand in CNC industry is huge, but now there are still many university graduates from related department can find the job. Why is it because they are not proficient in operating CNC machine? In Taiwan, a CNC proficient makes twenty-five hundred dollars a month, while the others makes fifteen hundred dollars a month because they didn't have a proper training. It means the proper training is one of the key factors of CNC proficient. There are three stages in CNC training: early stage for machinery knowledge, core stage for CNC programming and control, advanced stage for tool design and complex parts manufacturing. In general, we do not see many concerns in both early stage and advanced stage, but there is always problem in core stage. Therefore, we are going to focus on the core stage in this presentation. From our observation, CNC machine is so precise, expensive, and complex that most of the training programs are more with theory rather than practice. This is the problem in the core stage, indeed. How can we overcome this boundary? CNC five ladder training is invented by Mr. Frank Chan. Considering CNC is an expensive machine with high precision, Mr. Chen applied his graduated thesis to this field and developed CNC code editing system and code transmission system. When he was the referee in Taiwan's technical skill competition, he also found the training in school is not good enough. So he concluded an innovative training solution is a must. Finally, Mr. Chen invented five ladder CNC training courses. There are five ladders in the training courses: first, CNC basic knowledge; second, CNC tool setting and operation; third, CAD CAM; fourth, CNC operation ability check-in; and finally, CNC part machining. For training a pilot, we use flight simulator. In the same logic. Should we use a training unit for training a CNC operator? That's why the CNC training machine is born. This is our CNC training machine. It has patented in both China and Taiwan, and it won the gold medal and top hundred innovation award in Taipei International Invention Show and Taipei IT Month, respectively. Okay, let's start to go through the training courses. Ladder one: CNC knowledge and program. In the NC editor, it can perform code debugging, and the code is displayed in different color by code type, so it is easier to read the code. Besides debugging, we have geometry expert too, 
When you fill in the blanks with the known coordinates, the system will calculate the rest within 10 seconds for you. Once the codes are done, we can check them through simulation. This is the terming simulator. Students can check the program block by block as well as the coding path. This is an effective way for students to understand the code programming. OK, the next is Ladder 2, Tool Setting and Machine Operation. Traditionally, we would let the student test the program on the machine once the program was done, but not everyone had the chance to operate the machine. However, with the virtual machine, every student has chance to operate the machine and they can hear teacher's instruction clearly in the classroom. Most of the students have problem memorizing the entire operation panel. So, we designed a modularized button. This is a unique design because the interface will change based on different operation modes. For example, in handle mode, it will only display the related buttons. So is rapid mode. The modularized button makes the student memorize the function of the buttons easily and the students can do code editing tool offset, coordinate setting on the machine. And the students can keep practicing in classroom until they are familiar with it. Let's go to ladder 3, CAD CAM. Since the front CAM is easy to use and easy to learn, students can build a solid foundation quickly. They can have further study and handle the advanced CAD CAM software based on this foundation. We just completed ladder 3 and we turn to ladder 4, CNC operation training and ability checking. Since the cost to recover the mistake in real machine is pretty high, no one can afford any mistake. In this ladder, we will use CNC training machine. Mistake is allowed and students can accumulate experience from mistake. This is the CNC training machine. It has the control panel, operation panel with real button on the right, and the 3D simulation screen on the left. Both teachers and students can teach and practice without any pressure. The CNC training machine offers a real operation experience instead of mouse clicking on the simulator, and we do not need to worry about collision and material consumption. Of course, the teaching effectiveness also improves a lot. We have gone through the first four ladders, and we are now at the ladder 5, Real Practice on CNC Machine. We believe the students have enough experience before ladder 5, so we can let the student do some real cutting to extend the learning outcome. This CNC training courses improves the teaching effectiveness across different areas. Good balance between theory and practical operation. Students are more competitive in job market. Also, schools can have better reputation. This chart shows the effectiveness before and after CNC 5 ladder training courses. The improvement is quite significant. Before we finish, let's recap the 5 ladder CNC training courses again. First, CNC basic knowledge. Second, CNC tool setting and operation. Third, CAD CAM. Fourth, CNC operation ability checking. And finally, CNC part machining. That's all for the presentation. Thank you. This is CNC training machine for turning. We have patent in Taiwan and China. And it combines real operating interface with 3D simulation. Students can practice without any burden and teachers also can teach without any pressure. And most importantly, it has no tool or material cost. Hence, the students can practice until they are really familiar with it. We can use different views to know how it is cutting. And you can also move the cube here to adjust your view. All the buttons are the same as the CNC real machine. You can see the most switch such as ZRN, Rapid, Jog, Handle, MDI, Auto, 
DNC, and edit. Then we can adjust the material size by press this button. You can see tool number, and also you can modify the tool type, and also the nose radius, and so on. For example, we turn to ZRN node and press the X axis and Z axis and also the C axis, we can back to the original position. After we set the tool and material ready, we can switch to auto mode and press the cycle star to run the simulation. And we have the single block function to check the program line by line to see if it's correct. Also, we have the pulse function to pulse the simulation. During the rapid jog and handle mode, we can adjust the speed of tools moving. Okay, in the rapid mode, we can select different axes with different speed. And by pressing the Z axis, oh, and now it's over travel. So right now, the alarm is alarming and we just have to turn a little back of the Z axis and press the reset button to stop the alarm. Same with the handle mode. We can select different axes and with different speed and by turning this hand wheel we can adjust the position slightly. In the edit mode the program can be revised directly on the screen by insert, alter, and delete button. If you wish to change the tool, you can switch to MDI mode and then you insert the tool number you want to change. For instance, T4, M4, then press insert. Finally, you press the green button and the tool has been changed. Having the CNC training machines, teachers can teach students more easily and students can learn much faster. As a result, schools can provide the students with professional CNC ability to the enterprise.